Hello and good morning students. Nice to see you in today's English grammar lecture, lecture number 26, semester 2. Well, today's lecture is going to be the third part of chapter number 18, active and passive voice. <coughs> in the last grammar lecture, lecture number 25, we read from the text this chapter, chapter 18 on page 149, we reinstated and recapitulated the concept of active and passive voice after having understood the different rules in the part 1. Well, we read the Juno section and the Let's Learn section in the last lecture. We also practiced an important exercise that was given to us based on the transformation of the sentences from its active voice to the passive voice that was exercise A. Today in this lecture, we will continue our understanding, our reading, our practicing of this chapter. As you can say, as you can see, given to you on page number 152 is the second exercise, exercise B, which reads out and says, change the following sentence, sentences into active voice. Well, in the last exercise A, you change from active to passive voice. This exercise is about changing or <coughs> bringing the sentences from its passive voice to the active voice. Well, it was a challenging task to change the active into passive from which we learned and which we understood and we were cautious while we were changing the active into passive about the tenses maintaining the same tense which was given to us in the active. We used the auxiliary verbs, the necessary auxiliary verbs. We made the necessary modifications inside, isn't it? Well. Similarly, you have to be very, very more careful in changing passive into active because when you change the active into passive, you had the door of the action with you. But when you change the passive into active over here, you will not be having the door of the action that is the agent. So you have to be a little cautious while performing or executing these sentences. Well, without further ado, let's get started and read the first example sentence to us and then we will practice the sentences on the board and you can write it along with me. Change the following sentences into active voice. The first one has been done for you. He was taken for a thief. Read it very very patiently, very very uh, <coughs> attentively so that you understand the sentence given to you in the passive voice in the first place. He was taken for a thief. Now, what is being said over here? There was somebody who happened to understand the person as a thief. Now, there were a few people who understood that one person to be a thief. Maybe he was not a thief. So, he was taken, we are talking about one person, therefore we have the singular pronoun he, was taken for a thief by someone. Now, if you carefully read the sentence, the by someone or by them is not given to you. So, we do not have the agent which can change into its doer of the action. Hence, we will have to apply the doer of the action as done in this example sentence. They took him for a thief. Have a very careful observation. They took him for a thief. Here the word they has been applied over here in the answer. That is the active voice. Remember, we are changing passive to active. So, they took him for a thief where the word they the pronoun has been applied, that is the doer of the action. There were some people, they, they <coughs> took him for a thief. Now, concentrate on the word took. How did I, uh, how did we manage to have the word took over here? Why not the word take over here? Why not takes over here? For to decide that, we'll have to again look into the verb given to us along with the auxiliary verb in order to decide what tense is to be used over here. Because earlier, when we changed from the active to passive, we already had the tense the verb given to us, whether it was in the present or past and easily we could change it into its past participle. But here we have the past participle given. So only with the past participle we will not be able to decide what tense we have to use, the present or the past. Well, look at the <coughs> passive form sentence over here. We have the word was taken. So what indicates over here is the word was. It is an auxiliary verb used in order to replace or have the formation of a past tense sentence. Therefore, we can very well acknowledge over here 
it was taken is maintaining the simple past tense format over here the form over here the form of the tense therefore we will keep the same tense when we change from passive to active they took him therefore if i just try to <coughs> recall the verb forms of taken taken is the past participle form that is the third form if i just go in the reverse order that is the past participle form the past form and the present form what will i get taken took and take or takes so what is required over here took i will not be using the word take or takes over here i cannot write they take him for a thief or takes him for a thief why am i not writing because i have the word was given to me in the passive voice so the tense maintained over here or used over here is the simple past tense hence i need to maintain the same tense in the active voice hence they took him for a thief observe one more change over here the word him where did the him come from he which was the subject in the passive voice is now transposing itself to the predicate part and becoming an object over there hence the word he will now get back to him as we used to do the word him into he when we change the active to passive well the rest of the words for a thief is the complement of the sentence the, uh, the other words in a sentence therefore we have carefully understood how to change a given passive sentence into its active form where we do not have the agent which will become the doer of the action in the active voice so let us do the other sentences given to us he was made the general manager have a careful observation he was made the general manager try to think about the active voice and i will start writing on the board exercise b change the following sentences into the active voice we are performing a reverse order the active to passive now it is passive to active <coughs> second one he was made the general manager well think about the doer of the action because the first thing we require is the doer of the action in order to give in our statement in the active voice for that we do not have any doer of the action that is the agent given to us he was made the general manager by whom by someone isn't it so we need a person who has the authority to make him the general manager hence when we do not have anything over here generally speaking we take the word by them so that them will be changing to they when we write the active voice over here he was made the general manager by them if i assume the word by them over here as the agent then i will be changing it over here as they so let's begin with the word they they and now i require the verb he was made once again we have the word was just like we had in example sentence so we can very well acknowledge and say that the passive voice is having the simple past tense form in this sentence well so we maintain the same tense we already have the word made which is the past form as well as the past participle form here is the past participle form when we write it in the active voice we will use its past form but the spelling and the pronunciation does not change hence may will remain made over m a d e made they made so made is in the past form let's try to acknowledge this here it is in the past participle but here it is in the past the past form hence creating the simple past tense they made he he will be transposed over here they made him the general manager so it was a similar sentence that we just acknowledged from the example sentence they made him the general manager next one number 
a new company has been floated well understand the sentence a new company has been floated so what are we saying over here a new company has been <coughs> ventured launched started so that is the word floated over here has been started so a new company has been started by someone else maybe we started it so i will be having the word us over here a few people i and my uh, <coughs> partners or someone started so i can say a new company has been floated by us If I just assume the word us over here, by us, isn't it? Then I will be able to use the word we in the active voice as the doer of the action. So assuming this, I will make a sentence over here. We, that is the doer of the action, which was here by us, but not mentioned over there. We, the verb given to us, has been floated. So try to understand the tense. of this sentence which is in the passive voice the new company has been floated so when you happen to read the words has been what comes to your mind immediately you think about the perfect tense isn't it so what perfect tense is it it is the present perfect tense how did i come to know well the word has and have are used with the present perfect whereas the word had is used with the past perfect so when i have such a formation of the tense has been floated floated is the past participle form of the verb float float floated and floated so has been floated gives me a clear indication that it is in the present perfect tense form in the passive voice so i will i will maintain the same tense over here we have so why am i writing have over here because here the subject a new company was singular whereas the by us which is now changed to we has become plural so here the subject is plural hence i have to <coughs> agree with its subject and the verb so the subject verb agreement says we have <coughs> we have floated so you can very well see what are we using over here same tense have floated is once again the <coughs> perfect tense that is the present perfect Here it was in the passive, so we required the word be, but we are changing to active. Hence, the be is being now eliminated. We have floated a new company. I hope this is well acknowledged by you. Next one, number four. The fans were switched off. fans were switched off it is in the passive form we do not have any agent given to us that who did this but yes we can definitely assume <coughs> also we can say <coughs> that we can have the agent over here as per our choice the fans were switched off by someone by them by us so if i just happen to say by them over here then i will be able to use the word they were here. So let's write it somebody is doing an action passing it on to the fan <coughs> they then i need to concentrate on the word were switched off so switch is in the past form okay very well see over here the past participle form were switched off so this is the passive voice so switch is the past participle form and its past form is also the same switch Switch and again switch. So the fans were switched. So the word "were" gives a clear indication that the tense used in the passive is simple past. Hence, I will write the same tense. They switched. Here, the word "switch" is playing the role of the past form, making it a simple past tense sentence. They switched off the fans. this one <clears throat> let this post be advertised
While trying to understand sentence, what has been said over here? A commanding sentence we have. We have a sentence in the imperative type, isn't it? We learned about this. Let this post be advertised in the passive form utilizing the word let. So when you change it into its active voice, we will be requiring a imperative sentence giving a command. So what is being said? Let this post. Here post refers to a position. So an advertise is supposed to be given in the newspaper or some uh, periodical about that particular position or post in the office or company or whatever it is. So let this post be advertised. Well, let's write the answer by making the necessary changes and taking the appropriate subject. So what is to be advertised? Let this post be advertised. So you are saying advertise this. This is the Work over here. So we will start with the command itself. Advertise. Do this. Advertise this post. So someone was told to advertise, which is not mentioned over here. We do not have the doer of the action, the, uh, the agent over here, and we don't need to also because it is assumed over here. You advertise this post. That you is not to be written. Therefore, we will simply write the answer beginning with the action doing word. Let this post be advertised. Where the word advertise was in the past participle form of the verb. Hence, here the sentence if you see, let this post be advertised is in the present form. Hence, advertise this post. A command being given. Imperative sentence. Advertise this post. I hope you understood this well. Next one we have. They were refused admission. Well, try to understand this carefully. They were refused admission. So the word admission means over here, they were not allowed to come inside. But if you have carefully observed, we have the word they given to us in the passive voice over here, which is playing the role of a subject. So when you change this into its active voice, we will have to change it into the word them, isn't it? When you put it into the active voice. Usually the word them is used in the passive voice and not in the active voice. But here, they has been given in the passive voice and when you change it into the active voice, we will have to use to them and not by them. Let us see how we will do this. We have the word admission playing the role of the object over here, which will now become the subject. Hence, we will begin writing admission as a noun. Now playing the role of the subject. So, admission is a singular noun. Hence, we require the word was. Maintaining the simple past tense because in the passive voice we have were refused, was denied. They were not allowed to come inside. Admission. So that entry was not given to them. Entry or admission was refused. Refused is again refused because it is the past participle form already given to us and its past form is also refused. Here we are using the past form and not the past participle form. Try to explain it to yourselves. Admission was refused. Now we are not going to write over here by them because it is the active voice, not the passive voice. So we will change the word they into to them and write it in the bracket for our acknowledgement. To them. So this is the way to change this into its passive, the active voice, the passive into active voice. <coughs> Next one. My purse has been stolen. Well, somebody has. And yet, my purse has been stolen. We don't know 
person react to screen so someone a known person strange person so the agent is missing agent is dropped out so when you change it into its active voice we have to apply an agent over there isn't it so you can assume an agent for yourself that someone did it well we had a similar sentence when we were understanding the examples my purse has been stolen by someone if i take it by someone and start over here i will be getting my answer as someone and the tense given to me is has been stolen is in the present perfect tense therefore i need to maintain the same tense in the active voice someone has stolen steal stole stolen so it is the past participle form the verb already given to us someone has stolen my purse it what they have been warned we have a careful look at the sentence too you may find it similar to the sixth one they were refused admission and they have been warned but yes let me tell you there is a difference between the two here we wrote admission was refused to them so here we are not going to do that act we have they have been warned so warned is the action doing word over here here admission was playing the role of a noun over here admission was the object we changed into the subject but in this sentence they have been warned by the word warned is not playing the role of an object it is simply the past participle form of the word just like refused but here they were refused were refused was the verb it was the past participle here warned is the past participle along with that we had the object given to us over here that is admission we changed into the subject later on in the active voice therefore this is not similar to this one we will be doing this in the regular practice they have been warned by us isn't it we have given them a warning so by us is the uh, as the assumed uh, agent over here which will change into its doer of the action and then i will be writing over here we have so i write in the same tense they have been warned by us by us change to we we have been will be eliminated as what we told you earlier <clears throat> we dropped out the be over here because it was in the present perfect tense in the passive voice when it comes to the active voice means to be eliminated hence we have warned and whom have we warned <clears throat> they they change to them <clears throat> we have warned them so that is how we made the change without using the bracket they so directly writing them and not to them over here unlike the six sentences this is not the similar one so do not get misguided next one number 9 elections are held every year elections are held every year so we'll be writing over here <clears throat> elections are held every year every year elections are every year we hold elections yes that's how we want to write it elections are held every year by some people isn't it we need the doer of the action so we will be beginning the sentence to write its active voice by writing every year as you can see the word given to you every year which will become the subject over here elections are held when every year held is the action doing word are held indicating the present tense over here are held so elections are held held is the past participle form because the sentence is in the passive voice elections are held every year we will begin with the word every year which will become our subject every year we hold elections so we is the subject every year is just this 
describing that we over here every year we hold elections. So head now change to hold over here. Next one. Malini was elected captain of the team. Malini was elected captain of the team. Right. Somebody was elected, isn't it? So we do not have the agent or the doer of the action who did it. So we will assume one and we will go here and say Malini was elected captain of the team by us. So the by us will now change into we. We elected, have a look at the tense, the verb that you can use over here. Was elected. So elected is the past participle form along with the past auxiliary verb member of the B family that is was. Hence, we can say that the passive voice is in the simple past tense and we will maintain the same tense. Hence, elect is the present form, elected is the past form, as well as elected is the past participle. So, we will change the past participle into its past form where the spelling and the pronunciation will remain the same. We elected Malini. We elected Malini as captain of the team. So we'll apply the word as over here as captain of the team. Well, one last we have a reception was held in his honor. Think about it. <coughs> the reception was held, so somebody must have arranged for the reception. Say we assume by us. So we will change that by us into we. So let's begin with the doer of the action or the active voice. We <coughs> held a reception. Well, we have was held, unlike the previous sentence where we changed the was held to hold. A reception was held. So we have the word was given to us, indicates the simple past. Hence, we will have to maintain the past tense over here. We held, we held a reception in his honor. The complement of the sentence. So we becomes the word of the action. Held is the simple past, the past from the verb, in order to make the sentence in the past tense. So these were the 11 sentences that we practiced from exercise B. We have exercise C. Read the following passage carefully and fill in the blank with the correct form of the verbs given in the brackets. You may need to use both active and passive voice. So be a little careful. I will be dictating these answers to you. So have a very careful watch as I read out the passage and dictate the answers to you. Try to understand this well. <clears throat> In China lives a woman with limited means but a large heart. So the opening sentence, opening sentence of the passage tells us about a woman living in China. So in China lives a woman with limited means but a large heart. <clears throat> Shen Rui provides comfort to many children who cannot get support from their own parents. Then the paragraph for the passage continues with the necessary spaces to be filled up. So have a careful look. Many of these children, so it's a continuation, dash reject their parents because they were dash disabled or just because they are girls. So see, <coughs> a problem is being discussed over here that many of these children dash 
by their parents so their parents are rejecting their own children so what is the tense we are going to use are rejected we talk about the current time so therefore many of these children are rejected so note it down are rejected in the first blank by their parents because they dash disabled so we have the word disabled given to us they are disabled so the word are is already given to us and we are going to simply write over there they are disabled so have a careful understanding are rejected and are disabled well we are using the <coughs> passive voice over here are rejected and are disabled followed by the next one with one child per family rule many parents want their child to be healthy and male so many uh, children want only one child and that to male child because because of the rule that is implemented with one child per family rule so rule as uh, prevalent in china one child and that to everyone wants male child well the orphanages the orphanages dash overcrowded and therefore the orphanages are overcrowded they have become overcrowded so we will be entering over here the space are overcrowded put it down and there aren't enough grown ups around to give every child the love he or she needs but little shell hung neel sang and five other kids got lucky so a few names have been given shell hung neel sang and five other kids they were very lucky maybe they got some adopted parents they dash take away they dash take away from the orphanage to live in the foster home of shendrui so there was a person shendrui who brought these people home to take care of them and give them love and care so we will insert the word over there were taken they were taken away so we are using over here were taken as the uh, past participle form hence we can acknowledge over here that were taken is used as the passive form so the passive form is to be used over here the next passage with money from her husband's business shen has fed clothed and loved 58 kids since he started taking them in from the queen ming of an age 5 years ago so he has started this project of taking uh, orphan children to his home and serving them sooner or later all of them dash adopt so what is being mentioned sooner or later everyone will be getting adopted so sooner or later all of them were adopted so as time passed all of them were adopted by this people that is shen uh, family so shen rui they all adopted it so insert the word were adopted next passage shen rui says so observe the word says it is in the simple present so shen rui says it's just like being their mother i watch them grow then when they leave i can i can't stand the feeling that our souls are dash our souls are being separated so we require the continuous tense being separated are being separated so we are using once again the passive form over here are being separated well we need to maintain the tense remember that <coughs> are being separated further with her husband's business now having fallen on hard times so her husband's business is having facing a hard time money is tight they have less money or they have <coughs> money crunch with them but shen believes her christian faith so he is a christian and he believes in his christian faith dash pull them through so somehow they will get through with this uh, hard time also and things will go right so we require the future tense over here will pull the simple future <coughs> hence we can say christian faith shen believes her christian faith will pull them through so the <coughs> sentence we have used over here is the doer of the action believing that it will pull through hence we can say it's the active voice will pull will pull them through next one shen says we often run out of money sometimes we don't have money but we don't worry about tomorrow because god dash care of us god will take care of us so she is again saying that god will take care of us using the future tense the simple future tense and the sentence that you just acknowledged is in the 
uh, active voice. God will take care of us. So God is the doer of the action of taking care of us. Next, the children gave thanks before every meal, singing Bible songs, and everyone dashed baptized. So everyone is baptized. We require the word is baptized over there. So insert the word is baptized. Everyone is baptized. It is written in the passive voice. The children gave thanks before every meal, sing Bible songs, and everyone is baptized. Is in the passive voice. Finally, we have the last thing to write over here. That is, Shen Tui's foster home was on the verge of shutting down. It was about to close because of lack of money last year, and it would have if it hadn't been for the financial help from Christian groups in the United States. Turn to the next page. Each year, Shen must prove she has enough money before the orphanage allows her to take in more children. But even in China, where Christian organizations dash restrict is the word given, but even in China, where Christian organizations are restricted, so we require the passive form, authorities don't ask where the money comes from. As one local official said, the most important thing is that these children get a chance at a better life. So in this passage, we try to insert the necessary <coughs> correct forms of the words as told to us and understood about the active and passive usage. Well, you have the fun task of which you can go through the first one for yourself. I leave it for you. And the next one, option B, newspaper headlines are short and crisp, isn't it? When you read uh, very punchy lines. So here these punchy lines make use of the passive voice. They often use passive form since it is the action that is more important, not the door of the action. <coughs> or the door of the action is obvious. Look at the following newspaper headlines. So some newspaper headlines have been given to you and you need to write and expand them into the passive form. So let's do it together. Company director forced to resign. Sales tax increased. See, all these are uh, lines or captions in the passive form. Somebody must have increased. There is sales tax increased by someone. Company director forced to resign, say by the boss or by someone. Expand the following lines using passives. The first one has been done for our understanding. Dangerous prisoner recaptured. The dangerous prisoner has been recaptured by the police. So here the caption, the crispy line is now further elaborated, isn't it? So let us write for the other sentences given to us. Cruise ship sinks near Florida. Just a title, just a caption given in the news headline. Let us elaborate with the other words. <coughs> a cruise ship, so I am applying the article A before the word cruise. A cruise ship has sunk. What am I using? I am using has sunk, the present perfect tense form of the verb, has sunk near Florida. So the sentence is now become to a full fledged, a complete sentence in the passive voice using the uh, present perfect tense, making the meaning very, very clear. A cruise ship has sunk near Florida. Note it down. Next one, number three, stolen car found near city center. Just the headline. Let's elaborate. A stolen car was found near city center. A stolen car was found near city center. Well, note it down. Finally, the last one you have with you. Robbery foiled by clever neighbor dash in Patna yesterday. So you've been given space to write over there. Robbery foiled by clever and you have got in Patna yesterday as a part of the answer given to you already. So let's try to join it up over there. A robbery <coughs> was foiled by clever neighbor and then in Patna yesterday. So I hope this is well understood by you. Further we have the fun corner given to us on page 135, 155. Let's read the fun corner. Read the following newspaper report or the news report. So you can see the <coughs> image of a news report pasted on this page, page 155. Monday, April 14, 2014. And the record number is also mentioned over there. You can see over there. 
Love Mesa Library plans a series of children's shows and events. So, the title given to you in the passive voice. The La Mesa Library has planned a summer of close encounters of the worst kids' worst kind for children, beginning with a Star Wars spoof at 2 p.m. on Wednesday. Hardware Wars will be followed by a second film. Follow the North Star. Both films are free. The library will also offer a puppet show based on the space theme later this summer, along with an art and crafts project making Play Doh monsters. For preschoolers, the library has planned bedtime stories at 7 pm on Tuesday. Children are invited to listen to the free sleepy time stories in their pajamas. So you see, the entire report has been drafted or told to you in a passive form, the passive voice. Well, <coughs> can you find can you identify the verbs in the passive voice in the news report? There are two of them. The passive voice is often used in news reports, especially. Those dealing with crime will also find the passive voice used in the news headlines. Over the next week, cut out news articles and headlines containing the passive voice from daily newspapers. Highlight the words in the passive using highlighter pens. Try to add a few headlines, a news report of your own using the passive voice. So you have this project to perform. You can create a news of your own and try to use it in the passive voice. Well, make a display using the cuttings of your own additions, share it with other students in the class. Well, <coughs> as of now, we cannot share it or we cannot display it. Well, you can just try it for yourself. Well, this was all for today's lecture and in this chapter, chapter number 18, active and passive voice and in this third part and concluding part. See you soon in the upcoming lecture with the new chapter, chapter number 19, reported speech. Till then, take care, have a nice day.